now going to cover some specialty plays from the position at shortstop. The first play I'd like to cover is the double play feed, or in softball, what I look at it as is the force feed. One of the things that you want to do in the game of softball is to make sure that you get the first out. The second out is a bonus. A lot of times we try to become too quick in turning a double play that we don't get the first out. Remember, the key to a double play is not how fast you turn the ball over, but how hard the ball's hit. The first ground ball that we're going to talk about is the footwork on the ball right at us, or slightly to our right. In this case, we're going to go ahead and approach the ball like we normally would, but the only difference is, is when I'm feeding the ball to second base, as I feed the ball, I'm going to try to field the ball off my throwing side. The reason being is that the quickest way for me to get rid of this ball is to field it on my throwing side because I'm going to end up taking a jab step to open up and throw. If I feel the ball off my glove side, it's going to take me longer to get back into that throwing position. So here we're going to try to be a little more efficient with our footwork and our throwing motion to become a little quicker getting the ball to second base. The ball right at us, we're going to feel the ball off our throwing side, and the key here is I like to have our infielders take a jab step with their glove foot. What this does is it opens up my hips and allows me to make a good strong throw. Too many times kids will not take a step and now they're throwing across their body. Very difficult throw to make without taking a step. Or kids will feel the ball and actually move their feet. That takes time. So the most efficient way that I've found is to take that little jab step back which opens up our hips and allows us to make a nice, easy flip throw to second base. The ball that probably gives you the best chance to turn a double play in softball is the ball that's toward the bag. Obviously, any time that the ball and, and the shortstop feels the ball within two steps of second base, the quickest thing is for them to take it themselves. One technique that I would like to show the sec shortstops is that when I take the ball myself, I want to use the bag as a barrier. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ball, secure it, I'm going to step on the back of the bag with my left foot and then make a throw. This gives me some protection from the runner sliding in and it's probably the quickest way for me to make this throw. To review force feeds by the shortstop away from second base. Feel the ball off of your throwing side. Jab step back with your glove hand foot. Then make a nice easy flip throw to second base. On force feeds by the shortstop towards second base. Secure the ball. Step on the back of the bag with your glove hand foot. Then make the throw. Anytime the ball gets beyond those two steps, then we're going to have to use a feed. The feed that I recommend is an underhand feed. The technique for this is a very simple one. We want to secure the ball, and a common problem in this feed is a lot of young players will take the ball and they will try to wind up to make that underhand throw. I want to try to get rid of the ball as quick as I can. If you watch a good shortstop, the ball will go right from the glove, they will cross over and step with their throwing foot, and the ball will come immediately out of the glove to the second baseman. Now let me show you that again. As our momentum goes towards second, we secure the ball, step through with our throwing foot, show the second baseman the ball, and use a nice firm underhand flip. Another important element of the underhand feed is to try to show the second baseman the ball as soon as possible. One thing I like to teach our infielders to do is to get rid of the glove hand. So once I secure the ball, what you notice is that I'm taking my glove hand and I'm actually moving it back behind me as I step through. This gives that second baseman a good, unobstructed view of the throw. To review underhand feed, take a crossover step towards second base. Show the second baseman the ball. Then make a firm underhand feed to the second baseman. Most of the game in fast pitch softball is played inside the baseline. So when we're talking about footwork at shortstop, most of the time we're going to be receiving throws on the inside part of second base. If I'm receiving a throw from first base or from the pitcher, what I would like to see is the left foot on the bag 
and that way we're able to take our right foot to our throw and we can turn and make an accurate throw to first base. So a ball to the pitcher, we always want to open up and try to square up as much as possible so we're facing the throw and then take our right foot to the ball and throw. If it's from first base, obviously we want to square up to the throw from first base, left foot to the bag, right foot to the ball and throw. The only time that we use the outside part of the bag is on a ground ball to second base. And in this case, we want to try to get to this position as quickly as possible, under control, hands in a good position to receive a throw, and then now we're going to use the outside corner. As the ball comes, I'm going to kick the outside corner with my foot, and I'm going to turn and throw. As you can tell, I always try to keep myself out of the baseline. This is where the, the danger area occurs and where you're going to get injured. So either use the inside part of the bag or use the outside part of the bag when you're receiving a throw from the second baseman. To review covering the bag. If you're receiving the ball from the first baseman or the pitcher, put your glove hand foot on the bag. Step with your throwing hand foot. Square up to your target and throw. The only time you use the outside of the bag is on a ground ball to second base. As the ball comes, kick the outside corner with your foot, turn and throw.